Hello everyone, in this session I will continue with the application of Laplace transform in electrical circuit system. Previous example involving model the circuit into differential equations and then the governing equations are solved by using Laplace transform approach. Another approach of the analyze the circuit is model the circuit in frequency domain, for example in S term, then apply Laplace transform. In order to solve the question in frequency domain, we need to follow the few steps. The first step is change the signal from time domains, means in term of T, to frequency domain, that is the S domain of the Laplace transform. Then analyze the circuit in frequency domain, we either apply the KVL or KCL, that is the Kirchhoff voltage law or Kirchhoff current law, Thevenin and so on. Then third step is to convert the signals in frequency domain back to time domain, means that we use the inverse Laplace transform. Normally, we conduct it by drawing an equivalent circuit in S domain. A typical RLC circuit and its equivalent circuit in S domain are shown in this table. This table is show the RLC circuit. Okay, the, we use the Kirchhoff voltage law. In this circuit, for example, the voltage drop across the resistor plus the voltage drop across the inductor plus with the voltage drop across the capacitor equal to the ET. This is the first approach practice. Okay, for the across the cap resistor is the ITR. For the inductor is the L DIT over DT. For the capacitor is 1 over C. Integration from 0 to T, I tau, D tau. And this is the voltage source of the voltage. Okay, and then for the second approach, we can use uh, or we can equivalent the circuit in S domain. This means that the inductor here we can write in the form of L SIS minus with the I0. And the resistor R we can write as RIS. And the capacitor we can write as IS over SC plus V0 over S. And the, the voltage we, we can write as Laplace transform of the ET. So using the KBL, we can simply add total up everything equivalent to the Laplace transform of the ET. And then for each of uh, computation, we will assume this V0 equal to 0. Frequency domain of each device are shown in this table in detail. For resistor in frequency domain, we have the... For the Ohm's law specification, we have the V equal to IR. Okay, ITR. So we Laplace transform, we get ISR. For the inductor, we have the L DIT over DT. Then we, if we Laplace transform, we get the Vs equal to L I S S minus I0. And for the capacitor, we have uh, IT equal to C DVT over DT. Then Laplace transform, we get IS equal to C SVS minus V0. In a drawing form or in a diagram form, we can draw the inductor and capacitor in S domain like this. So this is in inductor in time domain. And this is the inductor in S domain. The L S I S plus with the minus L I0. And this is the capacitor in time domain. And whereas this is the capacitor in S domain. So it's 1 over S C I S. Okay, now let's look at the example. For the RC circuit in figure A, solve the current IT and voltage VT. Then use the initial condition generators and the Laplace transform. In this question, we have the capacitor equal to 0 0.2 farad and the resistor 4 ohm and the the initial V0 is the initial condition for capacitor is 10 volt. In the question just now, 
the question has the capacitor okay c and the v0 is referred to the initial condition for capacitor that is 10 in the question so in order to solve using the s domain we need to convert this time domain c to a s domain c that is 1 over sc multiplied with the is and also we have this source that is the uh, initial condition for the capacitor v0 over s Therefore, we change it to this form, okay? Left hand side is the original and I change it to the S domain that is a drawing in the right hand side. So this one is 1 over SC IS, which is equivalent to IS divided by, uh, C is 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 S, which is equivalent to 5 IS over S. And this one is referred to V0 divided by S. So V0 in the question given is 10, so 10 over S. And resistor is 4, so it's a 4 IS here. So therefore, we can calculate the voltage drop across the resistor plus with the capacitor equal to the source. So it's 4 IS plus with 5 over uh, 5 over S IS equal to 10 over S. So we can take out the IS here. So we left 4 plus 5 over S equal to 10 over S. So IS equal to 10 over S divided by 4 plus 5. 5 over S and this is equivalent to 10 over 4 S plus 5 since this is 4 S we want to get the single S so you must be divided by 4 and you get 10 over 4 4 S divided by 4 plus 5 divided by 4 this is equivalent to 5 over 2 divide by s plus 5 over 4 since this question is the is so we want to get the it therefore we how is the we inverse laplace transform of the is we will get the it so inverse laplace transform of 5 over 2 divided by s plus 5 over 4 this is equivalent to, you can take out the 5 over 2, that is the constant. And then even the plus round 1 over S plus 5 over 4. This is equivalent to 5 over 2, exponent negative 5 over 4, T, U, D. After we calculated the IT, and then we go back to this table and in this table capacitor in frequency domain and we can get the Vs equal to the Is over Sc plus the initial condition for the capacitor divided by the S. And Is we obtain is 5 over 2. This is Is, okay? Is is 5 over 2 S plus 5 over 4 5 over 2 divided by S plus 5 over 4 and then divide by divide by uh, SC okay, C is 0 0.2 so S over 5 plus with uh, initial condition for capacitor V0 we obtain is 10 divided by S so this is equivalent to 25 over 2s. Okay, we bring up the 5, so 5 times 5, 25, and then 2 and times s is 2s. Multiply with s plus 5 over 4 plus with 10 divided by 10s. So this is vs. Now we can find the vd by inverse the plus transform of vs which is equivalent to 25 
divide by 2s s plus 5 over 4 plus 10 over s let this part okay this part we can solve using the partial fraction equal to a over 2s plus b over s plus 5 over 4 so we bring this to the right hand side we can have the 25 equal to a s plus 5 over 4 okay we cancel out the 2s and plus b 2s In this part we cancel out the s plus 5 over 4 so we assume the s equal to 0 and we get 25 a 5 over 4 and then a is equal to 25 times 4 over 5 this is equivalent to 20 so a is equal to 20 and then we assume the s equal to negative 5 over 4 so 25 equal to b 2 times with minus 5 over 4 so this is equivalent to b minus 5 over 2 so b is equal to 25 times with 2 over minus 5 so this is equal to minus 10 so the vt equal to inverse star plus transform of okay we can okay we put the value of this one using the partial fraction and answer okay so the answer we get for the a is 20 and b is minus 10 and we can substitute in so 20 divided by 2s minus 10 divided by s plus 5 over 2 plus with the 10 over s 10 over s is from here okay 10 over s so now inverse laplace transform of we solve this one we simplify this one we get uh, 20 over s this is because okay this one we cancel out we left 10 Okay, 10 over s plus 10 over s so you get 20 over s minus with 10 s plus 5 over 4 so this is uh, equivalent to after inverse of plus of transform 20 over s you obtain 20 so this one we can refer to the table of Laplace transform okay and then um, 10 over s plus 5 over 4 you can obtain exponent minus 5 over 4 okay so this is referred to the ut that's all we saw for the question a then we go to the question b question b for the rl circuit in figure b solve the current it and voltage vt use the laplace transform given the initial condition v0 is equal to 1 the source of this circuit is 4 as for negative 3 t ut where the ut is a unit step function the question given has the inductor so for the inductor in s domain we can change it to the l s i s and this is the initial condition for the inductor l i 0 okay i 0 is the initial condition for the inductor Therefore, we can transform it into the S domain diagram. So, 4 ohm we can change to 4 IS, and 2 hash we can change it to the LSIS. So, this is equal to 2 SIS, and the initial condition for the inductor negative LI0. So, this one we get negative 2. I0 in the question given is 1, so it's negative 2. So the voltage drop across this diagram is simply the voltage drop across the 
in a resistor and the inductor as well as the initial condition for inductor is equivalent to the source here. So this source is 4 over S plus 3. Okay, we change this one to this form. To the Laplace transform of this one, we get 4 over S plus 3. So now I Right now, the voltage drop across each component. So I now take out the IS and I left 4 plus 2S equal to 4 over S plus 3 plus 2. I bring the 2 to the right hand side, so I plus 2. So IS is equal to 4 over S plus 3 plus 2 divide by 4 plus 2s and this is equivalent to this one we can re rewrite it into 4 over s plus 3 plus 2 times with 1 over 4 plus 2s so we can write in this way 4 s plus 3 and then this one we can factor out we can have a 2 2 plus s. So when you multiply in, you still get 4 plus s, 4 plus 2 s. And then, okay, this one is the operation of positive plus. So we can multiply in, we can split it into two. Since this is the operation of uh, plus, so we can split it into two. 1 is 4 and 1 is 2. So this is a uh, part 4 plus with 2 divided by 2, 2 plus s. And then we can simplify into 2 over s plus 3, s plus 2, plus with 1 over s plus 2, because we can cancel out. Okay, so... IT, we can get it from the inverse Laplace transform of the IS. So this is the IS value. So we inverse Laplace transform of 2 over S plus 3, S plus 2, plus 1 over S plus 2. For this part, we can use the partial fraction expansion. equal to a over s plus 3 plus b over s plus 2. So when you bring these whole things to the right hand side, we left 2 equal to a s plus 2. We can set out the s plus 3 and then plus b b s plus 2 s plus 3 because we can cancel out the s plus 2. And then we assume the s is equal to negative 2. So you get 2 equal to b, negative 2 plus 3. So you get b equal to 2. And then you let the s equal to negative 3, 2 equal to a, negative 3 plus 2. So you get a equal to negative 2. So therefore, it equal to the inverse Laplace transform, okay, we substitute back the a and b in the equation. So a is negative 2 over s plus 3 and then b is 2 so 2 over s plus 2 plus with the the initial one okay the it existing one is 1 over s plus 2 1 over s plus 2 so inverse laplace transform here okay since we have s plus 2 s plus 2 we simplify first then you get 3 over s plus 2 minus with 2 over s plus 3. So from here, 3 is the constant. So you take out the 3, 3, 1 over s plus 2. You can change to the exponent, negative 2t. The, and then and this way you can refer to the Laplace transform table. And then for this part also the same. 2 is the constant you take out and 1 over s plus 3 you get exponent negative 3t. So this is for the ut.
For the inductor in frequency domain, we have the Vs equal to LSIS minus LI0. So applying the Vs equal to LSIS minus LI0 and the I0 in the equation given is 1 ampere. So we substitute in. This is the L is equal to 2. So 2SIS minus 2 multiplied with 1. So IS we obtain from the question is. So this is the IS that we obtain. Okay, we can write down 2S. 2 over S plus 3. S plus 2 plus 1 over S plus 2 minus with 2. So 2S, two, 2 plus S plus 3, S plus 2, S plus 3 minus with 2, S plus 2, S plus 3 min divided by S plus 2, S plus 3. Since this denominator is s plus 3, s plus 2, and whereas this denominator is only s plus 2, so we will multiply in the s plus 3. So of course, here we have the s plus 3. That's how you get the s plus 3 here, and then plus with 2 here. So this one we uh, combine, we obtain this one. Then minus with 2. Since 2 only, so we will multiply everything here, so then we get this value. So even if we cancel out, you will still get the value of 2. Since we have the same denominator, this one and this one is the same, so we can simplify. Okay, So s plus 3 minus with 2s plus 2s plus 3. And now we also multiply in the 2s into the equation. Okay, So we get 4s plus 2s squared plus 6s minus with 2s squared minus 10s minus 12. Then divide by s plus 2, s plus 3. For this part, we can obtain the s squared plus 5s plus 6. So you multiply in, you get the 2s squared minus uh, 10s minus 12. Two 2s and 2s we can cancel out. So 4s plus 6s, you have 10s minus with 10s also can cancel out. And now we left minus 12 divided by s plus 2, s plus 3. So here is the Vs answer. And now if we want to find the Vt, that is the inverse Laplace transform of the Vs, which is equivalent to negative 12 divided by s plus 2, s plus 3. So again, use the partial fraction from minus 12, s plus 2, s plus 3, so we can get a over s plus 3 plus b over s plus 2. So minus 12 equal to a s plus 2 plus b s plus 3. And then we assume the s equal to minus 2. So minus 12 equal to b negative 2 plus 3 and b equal to negative 12. And let the S equal to minus 3, negative 12 equal to A, negative 3 plus 2 is equivalent to negative A. So A equal to positive 12. Therefore, Vt equal to inverse Laplace transform. We substitute the value of A and B. A is 12, B is minus 12. So we get 12 as 1 negative 3t 
minus 12 as 1 negative 2t ut. And this example shows that through the changing the signal from the time domain to frequency domain and analyze it, then find the inverse of Laplace transform, you can easily obtain the IT or the VT. So the circuit which can be analyzed through the uh, which can be analyzed include the IRC circuit and even the network circuit. In other words, we can solve all the circuit problems discussed in chapter 1 to 3 by using the method of Laplace transform provided the initial condition is known.